This short film looks at the achievements of the UK Armed Forces in Afghanistan alongside other ISAF and Afghan forces and looks at the long journey we and the Afghans have made together to ensure long-lasting stability and security for Afghans and the rest of the world. Twenty years of war completely destroyed Afghanistan's infrastructure, economy and institutions and Afghanistan was not yet strong enough to look after its own security. The terrorist attacks on New York and Washington on the 11th of September 2001 represented a devastating turning point for so many around the world. 9-11 brought home the realization that Britain's own security was at risk if Afghanistan was allowed to become a safe haven for terrorists. Because it was here that the Taliban protected Al-Qaeda and allowed that organization to plan and launch terrorist attacks around the world. In December 2001, under United Nations Security Council Resolution 1386, the UN authorized a NATO-led military intervention with a clear objective, to help Afghanistan become a stable and secure state that could suppress violent extremism within its own borders and enable development and reconstruction for its own population. In November 2001, UK troops were first deployed on Operation Enduring Freedom, with Royal Marines from 40 Commando securing the airfield at Bagram. Since then, the UK's deployment to Afghanistan has witnessed long and difficult challenges for the armed forces, particularly the last five of those years in Helmand. And this has come at a considerable cost, including for many, the ultimate sacrifice. Right from the beginning, an important part of the missions in Afghanistan has been to train and build the capacity of the Afghan National Security Forces to enable them to take on more responsibility for security in their own country. The reason we're doing this job, working with the Afghan army and trying to develop their capacity um, to work on their own, is so that eventually the British army can leave Afghanistan uh, in a better state than when we arrived and we can leave it in the hands of the Afghans. Right now, British forces are taking the fight to the Taliban in southern Afghanistan, facing down the insurgency, protecting the Afghan people, and laying the conditions that will contribute to stabilization efforts. Our forces are doing this in partnership with the Afghans and alongside allies, including the United States, Denmark, and Estonia. The presence of NATO forces is preventing Al-Qaeda or the Taliban regime from returning while the UK and other NATO forces develop Afghans' own security forces to take over the task for themselves. I'd like to think that the Afghans are capable of keeping the momentum of the improvements that have been instilled so far. Um, we spent a lot of time educating the local nationals with a view to obviously taking on their own responsibility and with the ANSF conducting, planning and coordinating their own patrols um, I see that as a, an entirely successful and, and positive thing because they're going to have to do that for themselves in the future. The military intervention in Afghanistan is just one aspect of the UK's support for the country. We are also providing direct military support to the Afghan National Security Forces, including the army and police through training, mentoring and partnering to build up those institutions so they can take on the job of confronting the insurgency themselves. UK forces are also working alongside civilians in multinational provincial reconstruction teams to help the Afghan state increase in size and capacity so that it can protect its people, giving them physical and economic security. The UK is working relentlessly on all fronts to help the Afghans improve governance, both nationally and locally, to tackle corruption and the drugs trade, build up the rule of law, promote economic development by investing in infrastructure and legal alternatives to poppy cultivation, and to improve access to education, jobs and healthcare. Working as part of an international community, the UK is supporting the Afghan government as it builds a peaceful and resilient nation, shaped by the will of the Afghan people.
The aim is not a perfect Afghanistan, but one strong enough to prevent Afghan territory from again being used by Al-Qaeda or other terrorist organizations as a base from which to plan attacks on the UK and our allies. The UK remains committed to these things. We are not imposing a Western model, but we are working alongside 60 countries, 49 of which are contributing to ISAF, to enable the people of Afghanistan to build a secure future. Everything the program does is owned by the community. It's not something imposed on them. Uh, and that's why, you know, the insurgents cannot fight the community as a whole. It is a hard job. Progress has been slow at times, but progress is being made. The insurgency, particularly in Helmand, has lost momentum and Afghan forces are increasingly taking the security lead. With our ISAF allies and ANSF partners, we have the right strategy which is resourced and is working. Transition has now started and Afghanistan is on track for the Afghans themselves to have the full security lead by 2015.